We're here in St George's at the Cataract Building where the Clarence Hill Gym will be based at some point. Clarence, can you talk us through how you see the gym mapping out and where everything will be located? Yes, I'll do that. Uh, where I'm standing right now, right, it's where I plan on having the boxing ring, right, from corner to corner, right, and that's where the gym was going to, the ring was going to be. Mm -hmm. And up top, we have a second level but right, that's where the heavy bags and the speedball mm -hmm. I bet you will be. And down below here would just be for the exercise and skipping and whatever, you know what I mean? And that's the whole purpose of having the gym here and here where it is now, right? So so the youth can have something positive to do with themselves, you know. And it looks like a great space. How much mm -hmm. work do you think needs to be done to get it to where you need it to be? Well, not much. I think uh, a little bit of Taking the carpet up a little bit, take, you know, you have the floor. Uh, the engineering is saying the floor has a little bit of holes in it that needs to be plastic, uh, fixed up for the rain to be set, mm -hmm. so the rain don't go through. You know, and I might do a little bit of painting, and I might have a little bit of cross crossbars on the wall to hang the heavy bags or the speedboat. May have a couple of them down here, but blame me. I think I might have them just up top the other side. And it looks like a great space. You must mm -hmm. be excited about what this could become. Yes, I'm very much excited because I've got two bathrooms, got an office space, and there's a lot of room, so we don't got to worry about bumping up into each other. There's enough room for everybody to work out and, and get in shape, you know? And obviously there was a press conference called December when mm -hmm. um, the government said that this would be open early this year or, or even by December. Did you think you'd be in here by now and, and coaching youngsters? I really thought, I really did think I would be in by now and you know, up and running and having kids here, like you know, hearing the bell ring and me shouting at the children, even taking them down to the park here, mm -hmm. RA, which I've got permission from the, the uh, president of RA that I can use the field for, for running. Mm -hmm. And it has, has it been frustrating for you that you've had to keep waiting for these seven months and it's still no closer to coming to fruition? Well, I would think anybody would be frustrated to know that you've been promised something and you've been publicized in the paper too, that you'll be promised and when you'll be open, it'll be in your name and not to see it come to fruition as of yet. So, yeah, I am very much frustrated with it. And how important do you feel this gym could be for the youth in St George's? Because, I mean, when you, when you look at St. George's, what do you really have down here to, to entertain themselves with? Mm -hmm. They used to have a youth center down in the square, they close to the square long years ago, because when I was around the primary youth center, we used to come down here to the to, uh, youth center here and play football, basketball, even boxing. Mm -hmm. right? They have a little something over here, I think. At one time, in Charlie Marshall, who was the, uh, the director of the youth center over here, but it ain't much for the youth down here in mm -hmm. St. Georgia. So I, when I was living here in St. Georgia at the time, I pictured myself having a gym. It, a lot of times I would catch the bus, I see a lot of the youth wandering around doing nothing, right? So my thoughts came into opening the gym in St. Georgia to give them something mm -hmm. positive to do. And that's where the gym for me came into fruition was that, that I had my old thoughts about getting the kids somewhere positive to do. And that's why I'm right now fighting with government to get the gym open. And finally, what would it mean to you to have a gym named in your honor? Well, it would be good because I'm the only person that Bermuda knows to win an Olympic medal in Bermuda through boxing. So if I can win a medal, which was the bronze medal, I can train somebody, hopefully, they can go further than I did. Probably even win a gold medal. You know, because we have a lot of talent in Bermuda. And with my skills through the years of boxing professionally around the world, England for five years, United States for eight years. You know, I've lost a few fights, not many, two, three. So with the experience that I have in boxing, you know, I think I can train at least a couple of young men that can go to the Olympics. Right, win the medal in the Olympics, then go pro and, and be successful. Clarence. All I need is the opportunity to do that. Mm -hmm. you know, and I thought this idea of opening the gym here in St. George's would give me the opportunity to put back in society what I've learned. And trust me, I mean, believe me, Bermuda, I have not learned boxing in Bermuda. 
Mm -hmm. I learned how to box in the United States. I was raised in, in Jersey. But as I came home, I went, ventured to the youth center, permanent youth center. Then I pursued my, my boxing career further from a permanent youth center. Clarence, thanks for your time. Thanks for showing mm -hmm. us around. I appreciate yeah, well. it.